Alrighty, today we're cooking corn meat. Um, when you buy your corn meat, have a look. Make sure the grains are running this way so that when you carve it, you carve it across the grain. And you don't end up with stringy, horrible meat. Um, I've just lit up the barbecue. Step one, a little bit of water into the pot. Step two, place your corn meat in. Give it a bit of water to make sure that it's covered. There you go, just covered. Give it a little bit more because it's going to evaporate as it boils. Alrighty. Um, and then we add the flavourings and condiments. Alrighty, we've got uh, half a cup of basically treacle. It's actually um, golden syrup. Add that in. Give it a bit of a rinse. This helps actually sweeten and it tenderizes the meat as well. Got a quarter of a cup, about three tablespoons of malt vinegar. Goes in. A couple of bay leaves, Loris mobilis, if you're a plant person. About three cloves of garlic. All I've done is chop the end off there, and squash it with the knife on the board, and that's it. Leave the skin on. Adds flavour. And one large onion. much it. Um, just leave it go. It'll come up to the boil. Let it cook for two to three hours or until it's tender enough that you can eat it basically. Um, be sure and wash and rinse your corn meat before you start otherwise it'll have a really bad flavour to it and we don't want that. That's what we've added all the other stuff for. So. Enjoy. Alright, uh, so we're about uh, two hours in. Time to give it a flip. Yeah, it needs a little bit longer. You can feel it when you drive the fork in. It's a little bit tight, so boil the jug, add hot water. Yeah. Since I'm here, I'll grab some thyme and oregano. Bit of time. A little bit of oregano. Give it about another hour and a half maybe. Should be right by then. Later.